Welcome to week 19 of the Commissioner's Corner. I had to say that out loud because when I look at all the recordings, I'm like, holy moly, I've been doing this for 19 weeks. This is awesome. Um, my third gopher to join me on the uh, on the broadcast today, I've got senior forward from Alder Grove, British Columbia, Miss Amy Padanak. Amy, how are you today? I'm doing good. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, we got a lot to talk about uh, from this challenging stretch of the schedule to big wins to family time away from hockey. We got all of it on the docket today. So let's just get going. Um, so I mentioned kind of a, a, an impressive stretch right now for the Gophers. Obviously, last weekend's two games with Wisconsin, you're headed out to Columbus this weekend to play Ohio State. It really speaks to what we talk about a lot in our league in terms of just like there isn't a weekend off, right? You've got to be ready to go every single weekend. So as you are talking about that as a team, like how do you all stay focused and stay in the moment of each battle? Well, I think you said it best yourself there, just with our league being so strong, you do have to show up every single weekend, um, just with all the teams uh, and the depth that we have. Um, for us, we always focus really hard on kind of resetting on Mondays and uh, moving forward with the next task at hand. So, you know, we're obviously really happy that we beat Wisconsin last weekend, but we're well, we've already reset and now we're focusing on on Ohio for this upcoming weekend. So you just said it, you know, a, a sweep of Wisconsin uh, at home last weekend. You've taken a, 11 of 12 points from the Badgers, which is something that hasn't been done in Minnesota, at least in your time. So, um, you know, it's a team that actually you've struggled with a little bit in the last few years. What do you think was the difference this year and especially maybe this past weekend? Mm -hmm. Well, I think with Wisconsin, it's they're such a strong team every year too, that it, I mean, any game can go either way, but I think for us, something that's given us a lot of success is just our mentality um, going into each game. I feel like we're playing with a lot more confidence than we have in the past, even to our freshmen are doing a really awesome job of stepping up um, in these big games when the tendency is to be a little more nervous as a freshman. Um, our goalies are also doing an awesome job and I've uh, noticed our defensemen, basically everyone all around the board has just really stepped it up. Um, and it's just playing our game and how we want to play um, and just playing really hard. Do you think, uh, given your experience, like when you came into the league as a freshman, the, the jump, the, you know, the expectation, the length of season, the battle of season, the chance, like, you know, it's very different. It, no matter, even if you're a world-class freshman coming in, it's still different to compete in this league. So you mentioned the strength of your freshmen and, and they have been vital to your success thus far. What type of like guidance are you giving them as a leader? What are you telling them to kind of help them, you know, just keep grinding with you as, as the season progresses? For sure. We usually just um, try and give them pointers wherever we can. Um, as seniors too, we always want to make ourselves approachable, you know, make sure they're never afraid to come and ask us questions so they do have any, as well as, um, as, as older players on the team, um, setting the expectations and the standards so they know what they are. Um, and then they have the ability to play up to those expectations and those standards. Um, so I feel like, yeah, we just try and help them out where they can. But like you said, they've done a really, really good job. And it is a really big change up coming from high school just to college hockey where you do play so often and the stress of school is a whole nother level, but they've done a really, really good job and, and made it easy for us as seniors. So. Well, I think they clearly have a, a, a wonderful senior class leading them as well. I'm quite sure they wouldn't be having this success if it wasn't for you and your your fellow seniors, uh, some veterans, certainly in that core. You head to Columbus this weekend, another top two or three matchup, depending on which poll you decide to look at. Um, very different teams than those that played at the beginning of the season at Ritter. I mean, for you all, that was opening weekend, which seems like a lifetime ago to some extent, right? So what do you think, you know, given the differences, what do you think are going to be the keys for the, for this weekend? Ohio, regardless of the time of year, always comes out absolutely guns are blazing. So we have to be ready for them regardless. Um, for us, um, just our keys to success will probably be just um, playing our game being quick on the puck and working hard because you know that Ohio is going to um, work very hard and they're also a very fast team. So we just got to make sure we're moving our feet and focusing again um, on our game. It's been no secret that there's been some significant change around Minnesota this season. Coaching changes, of course, uh, a few roster changes, just given the, you know, the, the U.S. residency and the Olympics coming up. 
how special is the 21-22 team? What, how would you describe this year's team? Well, it's, it's definitely a special team. Um, you've kind of said it again there yourself too, just the adversity that we have faced throughout this year with just all the changes to the staff, you know, players getting injured. We had a lot of injuries and, you know, different players going into COVID protocol even too, just all the stuff we've had to face. We've always done a really good job of focusing um, on the games that we're going into um, and not letting those things distract us. Um, and again, never making excuses. Um, I feel like part of what makes us so special is just um, how we live out our values each day. Uh, we always have our four values, which are tough, grateful, disciplined, and devoted. Mm -hmm. And I see our team bringing those values every day to practice and, and it shows up in games as well. That's awesome. Same, same again, tough, grateful. Tough, grateful, disciplined, and devoted. Disciplined and devoted. I like mm -hmm. it. So we've got four weeks of regular season hockey left. Is that crazy to say out loud? <laughs> I'm not sure I'm ready either, but anyway, we've got four weeks of regular season hockey. What are you uh, most looking forward to here down the stretch or what are the biggest keys down the stretch? Oh, that's a good question. I can't believe there's only four weeks left. I feel like we- That's just the regular time. season. Then we got postseason. we got lots of hockey. So keep, we'll keep, keep it composed. <laughs> um, I think for any team kind of coming down the stretch, you want to make sure, of course, that you're staying healthy, especially for us. That's going to be vital considering the injuries that we've already dealt with. Um, so just making sure we're recovering, taking care of our bodies um, every chance we get. Um, and then just continuing to work hard. Yeah. Lots to play for, right? Lots mm -hmm. to play for. How for hungry sure. is this team after the disappointment of last season? Very, very hungry. I mean, after... After that, uh, not making the tournament, uh, we definitely had something to prove coming into the season. And it was definitely in uh, all the returners. It was definitely in our mind over the summer when we were training coming into the season. And we wanted to make sure that it didn't happen again. So um, just letting that motivate us going forward. Let's switch gears. Tell me a little bit about Amy off the ice. Tell me about Amy's family. Tell me about what you like to do. How'd you get into playing hockey? All right. Well, I'll start with my family because that kind of goes into how I started playing hockey. But um, I'm actually the youngest of six. So four older brothers. And then as well, uh, my older sister, Sarah, as um, most people watching this will probably know, she also played for the Gophers. Uh, we got to play together for two years. So that was super special. Um, we're very, very close with um, our siblings, um, just growing up in such a big family. Uh, we always all played hockey. Um, okay. You know, super fun. My dad actually coached us all at one point. So very, very busy. A lot of grandparents uh, <laughs> taking us to and from different ranks. Um, but that's kind of how me and Sarah originally started in hockey was we saw our older brothers doing it. And we were kind of like, okay, like we want to be like them. Sarah got right into it right away. She was, she was a lot, I guess, more courageous when it came to stepping on the ice compared to me. I was a little bit more timid, but then uh, definitely grew to love it. Um, but yeah, that's kind of how, how it all started was just from watching our brothers and then wanting to do the same thing. So Sarah commits to Minnesota and then how, how easy was that for Amy then to commit to Minnesota? Was that part of the plan? Did you all want to play together? Like, you know, why Minnesota for you? Um, honestly, I really tried to keep my recruitment process separate. I, I wanted to make sure that um, I chose where I wanted to go because I wanted to go there, not just because my sister was going there. Um, I looked at a lot of different universities. Um, obviously, there's a lot of great choices to choose from. Um, at the end of the day, I really did want to play in the WCHA. Again, just going back to how strong of a league it is. Mm -hmm. um, and Minnesota also offered so many different majors that if I ever wanted to switch uh, my career path, I always had that opportunity. Um, and then on top of it all, a uh, great program for hockey. You know, you're practicing against the best every single day which is something that I thought would be really, really awesome. And then when you factor in all those, um, you know, opportunities that you have here at the University of Minnesota, and then on top of that, being able to play, you know, with my sister, it was, it was kind of a no brainer there as well. So. Yeah. It yeah. makes a lot of sense, right? You can't like, you just listed up so many pros and then the addition of Sarah, like that was just like an extra, right? Like it checked yeah. all the boxes. Uh, before you even had to consider the fact that you got to play with your sister, which I'm sure, um, I'm sure was pretty awesome. I know it was awesome <laughs> for those of us watching the two of you together, but I'm sure it was awesome to play together as well. You mentioned majors. So tell us a little bit about that. What's your major? What does, 
What does life after the University of Minnesota look like for Amy? All right, well, I'm a major in kinesiology. Okay. Um, I'm in my fourth year of it, uh, actually my last semester, and then graduating. I mean, if I pass the rest of my courses, which <laughs> fingers crossed, and then graduating. Fingers um, crossed. Fingers crossed, yes, uh, this summer. Uh, um, after, that's a good question. I, I definitely have looked at many different options. Um, my oldest brother's actually an optometrist, so that's something that I'm, I'm quite interested in. Um, and then, fortunately for me, actually, all my older brothers went all completely different routes. So I kind of have a lot of people to interview. Um, they had the tough part of figuring it all out, and now I get to take all their experiences and yeah. make my opinion based off of that. So, like I said, my oldest brother's a, a doctor, and then um, the second oldest is a lawyer and the third was a nurse and then the fourth went into business and then Sarah went into education so literally any Amazing. and every option they've kind of taken and, and done a really good job of helping me choose my career path um, so for right now it's I'm just focusing on getting my degree of course and then I'll apply to different um, graduate schools whether it's optometry um, medical school whatever just I definitely want to work in um, like a health type of profession. So, okay. um, yeah, I mean, we'll see what I get into after this. <laughs> Does the future take you back to Canada? That's a good question. Um, it kind of, it, it'll probably de like, it'll depend on what schools I get accepted into when it comes to graduate school. So I'll probably apply all over and, um, wherever I get accepted, what, whatever works best. Um, my brother actually went to optometry school in Boston. So, um, you know, Canada's not for sure, but you never know with what schools uh, accept you. So keeping lots of doors open. That's the best path anyway. Uh, what about hockey after the University of Minnesota? What does that look like for you? That's also a good question. Um, Sarah's playing in the PWHPA right now and, and they have had a lot of success and I've always loved watching her games and I would, of course, love to play with Sarah again. So um, I'm not really sure what direction different leagues are going into. Of course, this year is a little different, um, like you said, with Realism. centralization and, and the U.S. residency program. Um, I'm not really sure even what next year is going to look like in terms of those leagues. So, um, But thankfully, I, I have Sarah who's in it right now and um, someone who I can kind of consult about it. But it the PDAB does look like an awesome league to play in. Yeah, certainly there's some some work to be done at the top of professional women's hockey and we can just that's a whole nother conversation but I hope that <laughs> I hope that if the opportunity presents itself to you that it's something that you would consider I I know you know we've we've all seen the sports center highlight goals and things like that but just you know just the way that you play the game and the speed and the the passion that comes comes to the viewer by watching you play like I, I hope that this season isn't the end of that for Amy Potomac how's that I hope not to. <laughs> okay, switching gears again. This is the fun part of the interview. So we're going to do a little bit of uh, this or that and get to know Amy even better. Are you ready? I am ready. These shouldn't be too hard, but you never know. Okay, here we go. Sweatshirt or hoodie? Hoodie. Phone call or text? Oh, phone call. Oh, just, oh, like this. It's, <laughs> I get so surprised by that answer all the time. I always thought everyone would say texting, and most people actually say phone call. So. I like where this generation's heading. Card game or board game? Um, ooh, I say card game. Do you have a favorite family card game? Um, I actually just learned how to play Rummy not too long ago, yeah. and I've really been enjoying that game. So that one's probably one of my favorites right now. I like it. Okay. Starbucks or Caribou? Ooh, I think I'm going to go with Starbucks. So I always... I got tipped off to this early about Tim Hortons for our Canadians because everyone was like, well, you can say Tim Hortons, but only if you're in Canada because Tim Hortons in America is apparently no good. It's not as good. I mean, I've only been to one. They had a small one on campus for a bit, but it, it didn't last too long, but it wasn't as great in my opinion. Okay. Fair, fair enough. Oceans or mountains? Oh my goodness. Um, if I could only have one, I'd say mountains. I mean, Vancouver, you have both. So I'm very fortunate to live in a place where I have both, but I feel like I, yeah, I'd probably go with mountains. Okay. The... Are you a pen or a pencil person? Hmm. I, I feel like I should be a pencil because I make a lot of mistakes, but I like the way a pencil. 
so bold. you're bold so you go pen and then you yeah, just I cross it pen. out I could like erase it but I mean I should probably say I should become pencil that's I should be a pencil that's what that's, I should be does do erasable pens exist because if that's a thing if they're not a thing yet we need to figure that out how about that I would I'm a pen person as well but then I'm a pen with cross outs and that's irritating <laughs> <laughs> okay at the movies popcorn or candy oh popcorn 100 percent done passenger or driver passenger actually sarah like never lets me drive so i'm like the passenger she <laughs> always wants works. to drive so. that's how it works with the older sibling uh morning yeah. person or night owl uh morning i'd say dinner or dessert oh dessert me too road trip or plane trip um hmm. I think it kind of depends where I am, I guess, and like what the scenery is like. I would prefer a plane because it's probably quicker, but if it's a road trip down a really scenic route, then I never mind that. I always thought the road trip to Duluth is really pretty. So I've always liked that one. That was like the most logical answer, Amy. That was, you just talked <laughs> us right through why both would be great, right? <laughs> uh, dogs or cats? Dogs. Netflix or Hulu? Netflix. Dine in or delivery? Um, I kind of like dine in. I like the experience. Back when we could dine in comfortably and nobody yeah. was, yeah, yeah, agreed. Okay, last one. It's a little bit different. What's one word you would use to describe yourself as a hockey player? Ooh. That's a tough one. Um... I like to think relentless, or at least that's what I try to be. That makes perfect sense to me, actually. I can get behind that one. I could see that absolutely in the way that you play. That's plus, it's a new one. Nobody said that one yet. So that's pretty good. Relentless. I like it. Well, Amy and her teammates, the Gophers, will jump in the, in the airplane to head to Columbus this weekend for a big matchup with Ohio State. We actually have all eight league teams in action uh, this Friday and Saturday. So to stay up to date with that, make sure you're checking out the WCHA social platforms, our website, WCHA.com. Uh, all of those games will be streaming live on B1G+. So there's plenty of ways to keep up on all of the amazing action. Amy, thanks so much for joining me. Good luck to you and your teammates this weekend. Awesome. Thank you so much for having me.